it's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and welcome to what I think is the ultimate beer machine battle. To my right, we have the Blade Beer Machine, the most expensive beer machine sitting on this table. In the middle, we have the Krups, the Subcompact, which I've switched on, little red light there, the system's getting itself ready. And next up, this is a brand new purchase of mine. This is the Philips Perfect Draft. After I bought the Krups, I decided to invest in the blade. When I invested in the blade, a lot of people were requesting that I picked up a Philips Perfect Draft. So I've done that, and I thought, what better way to kick things off and let you decide which machine is right for you than to do a three-way comparison. I'm going to start off first with price. So I'm going to start at the bottom. Uh, the Krups, the subcompact, is £99 starting off. And then you've got the Sub Classic coming in at £119. Both of these machines are available at Beerwolf.com. Next, moving over in price, the Perfect Draft. We're bumping up here. We're bumping up about double the price here for this system. But already, you're starting to see a difference. The Krups holds little 2-litre torps, as we call them. The Perfect Draft is 6 litres. And we'll show you the keg. It's in the fridge, nice and cold. We'll get that out in a moment. Um, showing you how to load these machines up. So that comes, the Perfect Draft comes in at £239 from Beerhawk. But at the moment, if you're watching this video, as of probably mid-August when I released this video, you can pick them up in Costco, including the VAT, for £220. So I picked mine up, £220 from Costco, I had a saving of £19. So, but be quick, I don't know how long they'll be in Costco for. You also need a Costco card to get into their warehouse. Moving on then, the Blade Beer. I'm gonna be unbiased at this point um, because I've, I've not really had too much time with the Perfect Draft. I had a borrow of one last year from Tiny Rebel uh, where we opened it and done a review of the Club Tropicana. Um, the Blade, yeah, so going on to the Blade Beer, that costs £425 with either a starter pack of Heineken, so you get two 8-litre kegs, so that's the difference, it's 8 litres, 2 litres, 6 litres, 8 litres. That, that comes in, you've got a 2 keg, so two 8-litre kegs starter pack comes in for £425. You either get two Heinekens, or you can choose the Tiger pack, which is two Tigers, or the Beer and Moretti pack, which is two Beer, beer and Morettis. And that is available from Beerwolf.com. But get this, if you want to buy this machine on its own, without any kegs, it's £600. So it's cheaper for two kegs, with the machine, 425 that's £175 saving. Okay, we've done the cost. Let's move on to quality and how these machines look and feel. Um, they're all, all three of them are in shot. Hopefully you can see kind of a lot of it. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna kind of pan in nice and close and, and show you the gubbins of each machine. So, opening the Krups machine. That opens up there a door. And then you have your tap handle that's, it's quite, quite sturdy. To load the Philips Perfect Draft, remove the drip tray. There's a little lever on the side. Push the lever. Open it up like so. Slide your keg into position. 
and then you have the, the tap here that clicks down on top of the keg and then the door is shut and you have your system in place your beers up and running very quickly blade how do you load a blade well what you do you lift the dome on the top I've got stuff everywhere now lift the dome off the top put your keg in drop it in pull the tap forward what I like about the blade is on the keg you can see orange markings and the orange markings are the only part of the keg you touch let me get one so you push down push down the orange button on the top of the keg and then you've got your tap and that lines up into position there Put the dome back on and simply put that up flick the switch on the side everything's up and running what i like about the blade also is that really it's the quality of the blade is terrific the the handle the pull system here is just incredible um, you've also got a light it won't work at the moment i haven't turned it on and you've got a little locking button here, you see you lock, the, you lock the keg in with this little lock in here. You've also got gauges on the blade, one for temperature, one for how much beer you've got in your system. Okay, I think now is the time to load some torps and kegs. So we're going to start off with the Krups, the subcompact. What I suggest you do with each keg... And because I've done this video, literally, my wife is screaming at me because I've got an 8 litre keg in our fridge in the kitchen, a 6 litre leg keg in the beer fridge down below, and a 2 litre top in that, in that fridge under there. So basically, I've, got, I've, I've filled up the fridge with, what's that, 8 and 6 is 12, 14 litre ke of, of kegs in the fridge. Do that, put the keg in the fridge, whatever machine you decide to buy, put it in the fridge for eight to 10 hours, maybe 12 hours, depending on your fridge. Get it down to temperature first, because what I'm told is that you don't wanna to put too much pressure on the cooling systems on these machines. You don't wanna be warm, you don't wanna be grabbing a keg, room temperature, putting it in your machine, and expecting your machine to do all that work all of the time because there's a chance that the, the cooling systems might break down on these systems okay so let's load a uh, sub uh, Krups the sub compact I'm gonna move the camera position now to show you how to do this I also want to stress at this point to say that these machines have been made as consumer friendly as possible the people who make these machines Krups and Philips and and Heineken with the, the blade, they want this to be a nice experience for you, an easy experience for you. So we'll show you just how easy this is. So we're starting off with the Krups, open the door as I've just done, lift off the tap handle. If you've gone for the classic, you open the front up and you load the top from the, from the front. But I've got the subcompact, which I'm showing you now. Simply take off the lid and you'll see a little beer line. Put that there, grab all your beer line, and you simply, can you see that? Yeah, you simply put it into the top and you push down hard until it's flush. There you go, just like that. You then grab the top and you load it in from the back. So you put the top into the back and you simply push down. Machine makes a noise. You've got this line that goes down through the hole in the top and that clicks into position. You put your tap handle back on, close the door 
importantly, waiting for that little red light to go green and away you can go. You can start serving beer. That's how easy the Krups is to get going. Let's move over to, let's go up in price. Let's do it with price. Let's move over now with the Philips Perfect Draft. This is a six litre keg of Lohenbrau. Uh, there's the bits and pieces that come with the keg to connect it all up. So that's gonna be the first thing, is to show you how to connect up the keg to the machine, switch it all on, get it going. So let's crack on with that. So when ordering kegs, this is what they look like. Um, you take the beer line off the top here. Thought I was gonna need scissors, no need for them. So that just comes off there. You don't need that for a, a, well, a minute or two. What you do is you pull off this little plastic protector. And then with a firm push down, let's have a look at this. That goes on there, like that. One big firm click down. You got a little nozzle on the back, so we need to move position again. So you simply move the drip tray out the, the way for a moment. A little clip here opens up the machine. You grab hold of the keg that I've got just on the floor here. That slides into position. You put the nozzle at the back here. Right, that slides into position there, lock it down, and then this beer line that we had earlier on, ooh, there it goes, here's the line, it slides down into position, and then you click it down like that. And there you have it. Six litres of low and brown. So, um, give this a chance. I think you can adjust. You can adjust the temperature. So, it's already. We're going to get it down to about seven, I reckon, seven degrees. So, I've got this keg out of the fr fridge, as I mentioned earlier on. Always pre-chill your kegs. You don't want to be putting too much stress and strain on these machines. So, it's already gone from 15 to 12 degrees. So, that's showing you that the keg is nearly ready. It's nearly ready to pour. Next up, let's show you how to load the blade. So, tap. Take that off on the end. Get rid of that. And then what you do, I'm going to try and do it here for you, is that you push this little button in, this little orange button, be firm with it, like that. I'm like, I'm the same too, I'm like, <gasps> push it in like that. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Now, um, I was that excited that I'm going to have to, right, take the dome off, there you go, no problems. Take the dome off. Whack that on the floor for a moment. And then what you're doing, I'll get close enough for the next bit. Okay, so what you do is you take the dome off first on the blade system. This can be a little bit tricky with the keg. Because it is an 8 litre keg and it does weigh a little bit. So pull the nozzle or pull the tap forward as so. You're only, as I, as I mentioned earlier, you're only touching the orange parts of the machine and the keg. So, little orange button there to push. You grab hold of the keg, and this is what I've learned to do, is you grab the line, and put the line in between your fingers like that. And then you load it down, like so. The line goes down into there. And then we're in. Right, there yeah, you should hear a clunk. So we are in. Simply put the 
top back on here. What have I done here now? There you go, get rid of that there. So that goes back there. I'm just gonna grab the camera. And then from the front, turn the machine on on the side here. And then you lock it down. You'll see that little lid back on and if you want you can turn the light on so very quickly what you're waiting for the blade beer machine to do you're waiting for the temperature to drop as I mentioned earlier I kept these kegs these 8 litre kegs in the fridge um, so it'll recognize in a moment that it's cold and the temperature will go down to the bottom there and that's when I would advise you to use this machine when the gauge, the temperature gauge, hits the bottom. This next bit is really important. If you haven't got much time on your hands and you want your cooling system to cool your beer very, very quickly, the blade did it in about 15 minutes by the time we loaded all the kegs. Moving on to the perfect draft exactly the same time about 15 minutes it got it down to the temperature we need and this is the little drawback with the crepes you've still got your red light and I've waited before now I've got a keg straight out the fridge or a torp as they call them got it straight out the fridge put it into the crepes and I've waited as long as an hour and a half for that red light there to turn green so if you haven't got much time on your hands or if you want to be it really quickly and you think that just to grab a top out the fridge put it in it won't be long before this machine's ready you'd be wrong so if you're looking for something quicker either this machine here which took 15 minutes or over here the blade again which took 15 minutes Okay, so whilst we're waiting for the crepes to get the torque down to the right temperature, let's start off with a pour from the Philips Perfect Draft. Here we go. Bear in mind, this is the first pour off the machine. And this is the Lauenbrau. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave that there for a moment, grab another glass. That's the first pour off. I mean, I've seen I've seen worse. It's not too bad. It's clearing up very quickly. Uh, there was a, a big ten finger head on it, but here we go then. Let's let's try it again. So I advise to get the glass right up to the nozzle and pull straight down. Much better. Look at that. Look at that. Two finger. White head. Lovely looking beer. Okay, let's move over to the blade. Okay, so I've just pulled one off here just to save a bit of time. So let's get the second one out. And finally, the Krups, the subcompact Punk IPA pour. Right up underneath, get the nozzle touching the glass, pull it right down. There you go. That's not too bad at all. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk to you about is keg and torp availability. 
So after showing you how many litres go in each machine, how easy the kegs load in each machine, what the beers pour like, let's move on to probably the biggest reason why you would choose one of these machines. And that's got to be availability and variety of these kegs. Now, as of just looking at the internet just now, um, there are 38 torps for the Krups, the sub compact as of mid-August 2020. Ranging from Delirium to Vice Beers to Brewdog's Punk IPA to Thornbridge's Jiper to everything. A lot of these wonderful beers are, are, are on the, the tops. Um, the blade, it's a little bit more in its infancy. Vice Beer, a few lagers, a cider, and of course, yeah, a, a Belgian Blonde. That might be okay for some. If you want the bigger system, go with the blade. I personally think going forward, the blade is gonna have a multitude of, of different kegs to hit this system over the next few months. So I wouldn't worry too much about only eight kegs available on the blade. The Perfect Draft, meanwhile, is the winner on availability. And they have 43, I've just been on uh, Beer Hawk's website, they have 40, let's move over to it, 43 different 6 litre kegs for this machine. From Quack, to Jiper, to Magic Rock, to your regular kind of Coronas and Stella Artois, if, that, if that's your thing. I picked up the Lowenbrow. There's Stouts and, and there's so many, there's so much choice for this machine. I'm in a position now to, to realise, to understand why so many people have chosen the Philips Perfect Draft. It cools your beer very quickly. It shows you how much beer is in the system with that little LED light thing going on there. And of course, you can adjust the temperature. It's the only beer machine out of the three that will let you adjust the temperature. The blade will show you the temperature. It won't let you adjust the temperature. Same as the Krups. So I've given you price, availability, everything else, build quality. It's just up to you now, I suppose, to make a choice on which system fits your needs. And I suppose I can touch on my needs uh, on this, on these systems. Um, I dipped my toes um, into the beer machine markets at Christmas. I bought I bought this machine, um, this Krups machine here, the middle one, for Christmas. Um, really enjoyed it. I had some I had some great parties here on Boxing Day with loads of different tops. Changing them often, that's the biggest thing. Like my nephew would be like Simon the or Uncle Simon the the top's gone again, and I'd have to go and change it and get one out the fridge and. So, although it was very good, you're changing tops all the time if you have a party. Um, if you like the session beer a lot, if you have a few beers every night, then it's going to be out of these two. Six litres or eight litres. The beer machine that sits most nicely on my counter, though, the one I like to look at the most, is the blade. It really is a top, top quality of the machine, followed by the Philips Perfect Draft, followed by the Krups. Biggest downside for the Krups, in the end, I waited for that Brewdog Punk IPA top four hours. It took four hours to cool the top down, in the end. It is 27 degrees though in the UK at the moment, it's very sticky. Um, so, so what, the battle, what, what, let's do, let's start from third place. Third place for me, I'm going to say the Krups the subcompact. Nice little machine, but holding up against the big boys, it's gonna struggle. And I'm stuck now, I'm stuck for second place, but I'm gonna make a decision. I had a eight liters keg of Aflagem Blonde 
and after gem blonde i think it's a seven percent abv blonde beer eight liters of it and it's sat in there and these th this will hold your beer for 30 days this will hold it for two oh let me start again the blade will hold your beer for 30 days the crups the subcompact will hold your beer for two weeks as soon as you put the the, the kegs and the torps in month 30 days on the blade two weeks on the crups a month on the Phillips perfect draft I struggled a little bit I'm gonna be honest I struggled to get through all of that blonde beer eight liters was a little bit too much for me I think six liters six liters is probably the perfect size keg I think for me for my needs for my drinking needs so I think it's a very very touch call a very very close call and it all swings down to the moments where you can get 43 different kegs and the availability of these kegs you can pick some of these kegs up in the shops for the Phillips perfect draft and you, and you get a five pound back a voucher a five pound voucher back every time you swap a keg over so there's a nice system in place there yes the other two you have to recycle the, the kegs and the tops there um, so the winner and it was very close very very close because the build quality the build quality on the blade is better the build quality on the blade is better all stainless steel beautiful looking machine kegs will come in the future I'm pretty sure of it but the winner and it's by a whisker is the Phillips perfect draft at the moment ask me again in a year's time if the blade has 30 40 different kegs in the uk it might be a different answer but for now this machine here the phillips perfect draft just pips it let me know your thoughts let me know what you thought of the video did you find an interesting video we had um we've shown you all three machines um i think it's the most comprehensive kind of video on youtube with the th breaking down the three machines um was the video too short did i leave anything out was the video too long let me know in the comments box thank you very much for watching please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers